Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen, and if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell for notifications. In today's episode, we're making chicken breasts grilled on the Weber kettle, and we're making an Alabama white sauce to go with the chicken. I've had this before, it's amazing, and I think you're gonna like it. All right guys, let's start making it. First thing we wanna do is we're just gonna take some Uncle Steve's competition bird powder, and we're gonna put it in to a bag. We're gonna use this as a coating for the chicken. I'm gonna put about, yeah, about that much. That looks good enough to me. We're gonna take one of our chicken breasts, put it into the bag, of course, seal it. And just like that. Take it out. That looks good. Let's do it again. Put our chicken in. We seal it. Throw that away. Get it nice and coated. And there you go. Those are good looking pieces of chicken. They've got a great coating on them. Now let's put them on the Weber kettle. With the temperature on the Weber kettle at about 350, it's time to put our chicken down. We're going to use the direct heat method on this one. And I'm going to stick a probe into one of them because I'm looking for 170 for a temp. Let's get to making our Alabama white sauce. Now for our Alabama white sauce, the recipe does start out with about half a cup of mayo. Eh, that's close enough for government work. Next we add about two tablespoons of buttermilk. It's probably a little bit more, but that's okay. Two tablespoons of vinegar. About perfect. One teaspoon of yellow mustard. Now in here, is a half a teaspoon of pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Just put it in there. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of white sugar and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. But before we're done with that, I'm gonna add just another secret ingredient and that's just about a tablespoon of horseradish. Now there's literally hundreds of ways to make an Alabama white sauce, but this is how I like mine. Let's stir it up a little bit. And that looks pretty dang good. Now while we wait for the chicken to finish, I am gonna make an asparagus side dish. And this is pretty simple. I'm just going to take some extra virgin olive oil. As you, and those of you who know my girlfriend would say EVOO. And I put just some oil down. This is a mixture of half a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and garlic, or SPG. And I just put the SPG in like that. Give it a nice mix. Like so. Almost looks like a roux, doesn't it? And we're gonna put this on the Weber kettle as well. Our asparagus has been in the cast iron pan for about seven minutes. As you can see, it's looking good. I just wanna take one out and kinda of take a look at it. It's got a real nice limp to it. Yeah, I know I said limp. Just gonna take them off and plate them. Looking good right there. Our chicken is sitting at 126 degrees. As you notice, they're on the side now. I put them on the middle just for the moment to kind of get them heated up. And now they're just kind of slowly cooking away. Our Alabama white sauce is on the side because it's so cold out here, just kind of chilling. And all this is starting to come together, so we'll be right back. Our chicken just hit 170. Look at that. That is an amazing piece of chicken, just golden brown. Our largest one, 
Like I said, our chicken is just golden brown. I just want to cut into this and look at it. Oh, man. Looks so good. Juicy. Wow. All right. I think it's time to plate this up and put some of our Alabama white sauce on it. Wow, when I, when I put my fork in there, some juice came out. Hands down, the best piece of chicken I have ever made. That Uncle Steve shake on here really ties this chicken together. You add that Alabama white sauce, wow. Try a piece of asparagus, and we're gonna dip it in the Alabama sauce. Mm. Perfect combination for this. If you don't have Uncle Steve's shake, make sure you get some. I'll put a link below. But if you don't have any, maybe try some salt, pepper, garlic. Make up your own rub because I'm telling you, this white sauce, this chicken on the Weber kettle, way to go. You add some asparagus, even better. Another thing too I didn't think of is using it as a dipping sauce. Awesome stuff, guys. All right, the recipe's down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching. The Alabama white sauce is super simple to make. Grill your chicken on a Weber kettle, flat top, inside, in the oven, whatever. So good. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next episode of The Dude's Kitchen. Take care, guys.